This is the Rimac Nevera, and you may know it as the Concept C2 that first appeared back in 2018 as an all-electric ballistic missile. But the Nevera isn't just the C2 with a new name, despite looking identical to the Concept. It's packed with a host of updates and tech, and can reach speeds of nearly 260 miles per hour. With production now underway, here are five things you need to know about the Rimac Nevera. But before I get into the list, you remember what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. It may have a new name, but the Nevera's design is pretty much identical to that of the Concept C2, albeit with some subtle changes. Most of those tweaks concern the air intakes and diffuser, which have been slightly altered to improve aerodynamics. You may have to squint to notice what's different, but Rimac promises the Nevera is 34% more aerodynamic than the original concept. And while its smooth lines will no doubt make it super slippery, there's also a gigantic wing at the back to keep the car planted in the twisty stuff. Speaking of aerodynamics, the front bumper, underbody flap, rear diffuser and rear wing can each move independently, which means the driver can switch from high downforce mode for aggressive driving to low drag mode to improve battery range. The Nevera is built around a carbon monocoque chassis which weighs less than 200 kilograms. This gives the electric hypercar a phenomenal power to weight ratio and torsional stiffness. And fun fact, according to Rimac, the chassis is the largest single piece of carbon fibre ever used in the automotive industry. Rimac is keen to point out that the Nevera is just as happy playing the role of a Grand Tourer as it is a track day weapon, and that's definitely reflected by its luxurious interior. Deep plush leather coats just about every bit of available space, and the seats look comfortable enough to sleep in. A bank of piano key switches and two rotary dials are the only tactile switch gear to be found, but Rimac seems to have executed the minimalist look well. In terms of tech, there are a trio of screens comprising of a digital cockpit, an infotainment screen and a display for the petrified passenger sat next to you so that they can see just how fast you're going. There's also a seriously cool onboard AI track assist that will show you the optimal racing line when lapping the track. And if that circuit isn't supported, all you need to do is get a couple of laps in and the car will figure out the fastest route. Rimac creates cars that make piston-powered machines run to their bedrooms in floods of tears. And the Nevera will be no exception. The hypercar packs a total of four motors, one on each wheel, that together produce 1,888 brake horsepower and 2,360 newton meters of torque. It's hard to comprehend that level of power, as to us it seems to occupy a space just below the Saturn V rocket that took astronauts to the moon. But the acceleration times add some useful context. 60 mile per hour from a standstill is achieved in just 1.85 seconds, a quarter of a mile is done in 8.6, and in just 9.3 seconds it'll hit 186 miles per hour. Of course, rivals like the Lotus Avaya and Pininfarina Batista might have something to say about that when they're ready to roll off the line. Oh, and the Rivera tops out at 258 miles per hour. That's not quite as fast as the 300 mile per hour Bugatti Chiron Supersport, but it is impressive given that electric cars tend to major on acceleration but run out of puff when it comes to top speed performance. And the big numbers don't stop there. The Nevera gets a 120 kilowatt hour battery that offers a WLTP rated range of 340 miles on a single charge. Just bear in mind that if you plan on driving 258 miles per hour everywhere, your range will likely be a lot shorter. As is the case with most EVs, the battery is located nice and low for a better center of gravity. And it's also arranged in the shape of the letter H, improving rigidity. There's some interesting tech to go along with it too. Rimac has developed something it calls the all-wheel torque vectoring 2 system, which is capable of making 100 decisions a second to work out the precise amount of torque to send to each wheel, whether on track or on road. In theory, that should make the Nevera quite hard to crash. Emphasis on in theory, looking at you Richard Hammond. On charging, Rimac says the Nevera can go from 20 to 80% battery charge in 18 minutes. 
Now that's difficult to compare with competitors as everyone seems to use different measurements, but it's still damn quick. The hypercar also has a braking system that, quote, makes the highest use of regenerative braking of all cars currently on the market. Get ready for another big number, followed by a very small one. It won't come as a huge surprise that you'll need to be extremely rich to afford a Nevera. You'll need a spare £1.72 million pounds just to get one. And even if you do have that kind of cash, you'll need to be very quick as only 150 are being made and each one is bespoke. Of course, you can find much cheaper yet slightly slower electric cars by heading over to yesauto.com.